Madagascar. There's a gal there. She wrote a book on lamier. She is big time expert on lamier behavior. And she got me aside when we were visiting the field research station where she worked and said she heard rumors that I could train bats and she was very curious to know about it. I told her about training tray cops and that I'd been able to train them to go wherever I pointed on command. And she was astonished and said, you know, they had tried repeatedly to train primates to do the same thing and had failed. That so far the only animal that, that, that had been that they successfully trained to go on command to a location where somebody pointed was the dog. The dogs apparently have been with humans long enough to develop extra ability to understand what we are thinking about. But uh, she said that chimps had been unable to do that. She was just fascinated as could be that uh, bats could do that and wanted to know if I'd ever published it. And I said, no, you know, it's just something I did as a part of photography. It wasn't part of research that I did. And uh, so she was saying, you know, somebody really needs to, to publish that. That's such, you know, amazing, such an amazing discovery. But that kind of work has still never been published on bats. Wherever I go, colleagues in general are just really surprised to find out that you can keep bats and work with them like that. It's one of the big contributions I make often when I go to a new country is to show people there how easy it is to maintain and train bats. Even I'm really amazed at what bats can learn. And over time I would say that the main thing that has limited me in training bats is my own disbelief that they can do some of the things they can do. Like a lot of other people, I generally don't believe that a tiny bat can be trained, for example, and yet those uh, woolly bats last year in Borneo learned without me even trying to train them that they can get me to hold out my hand and come and get mealworms from me. Almost got it. I got it. 